Prayer is the best weapon we have. It is the key to God's heart. You must speak to Jesus not only with your lips, but with your heart. In fact, on certain occasions, you should speak to Him only with your heart. Father, you love what I fear. Reply, I do not love suffering itself. I ask God for it. I desire it for the fruits it gives me. It gives glory to God. It saves my brethren in exile. It frees souls from the fires of purgatory. What more do you want? Father, what is suffering? Reply, expiation. And what is it for you? My daily bread, my delight. We are concerned not to give anyone an occasion to stumble or criticize our mission. Instead, we prove we are true ministers of God in every way, by our endurance in so many trials, in hardships, afflictions, floggings, imprisonment, riots, fatigue, sleepless nights, and days of hunger. People can notice in our upright life, knowledge, patience, and kindness, action of the Holy Spirit, sincere love, words of truth and power of God. So we fight with the weapons of justice to attack as well as to defend. Sometimes we are honored, at other times insulted. We receive criticism as well as praise. We are regarded as liars, although we speak the truth, as unknown, though we are well known, as dead, and yet we live. Punishments come upon us, but we have not as yet been put to death. We appear to be afflicted, yet always joyful. We seem to be poor, but we enrich many. We have nothing, but we possess everything. Padre, I am overwhelmed with much shame, for you have chosen to suffer much for my impotent soul as well as for the frail spirits of many others. Suffering for others. This Christian concept of suffering, a heroic endurance for the sake of my neighbor, gives new meaning to painful experiences that otherwise would be avoided at all costs. But, my loving Padre, in following Christ, you made me realize that heroic suffering is the essential link and maturation of the self-love that satiates the mind. 
towards the selfless love that uplifts the spirit. Divine Savior, may my small sufferings and discomforts be my daily offering for the renewal of wayward souls, including my own. Amen.